to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Hello again everybody Today we are looking at Halloween 5 The Revenge of Michael Myers from 1989 This is a 1999-2000-ish uh, 2000 Anchor Bay release, black clamshell package. Uh, for a while there, Anchor Bay owned the rights to Halloween 1, 4, and 5. And so they put out a lot of cool additions of 4 and 5, both on black clamshell packages, multiple uh, regular slip slipcase, cardboard slipcase versions, and of course the DVD, uh, regular DVDs and the DVD Collector's 10. Uh, this has an introduction by Daniel Harris, whom I've met, Ella Cornell, whom I've met, uh, theatrical trailer, all of which I believe I have ripped and is put on this channel and on my VHS rip channel. Uh, I think this movie gets a lot of crap. There's uh, there's a lot of elements about it that I don't like. A lot of the uh, like the two cop characters when they walk around, there's weird kind of like doink, boink, boink, doink kind of noises and stuff that make them kind of comical. Uh, I don't really care for that. I think it was kind of a weird choice. But Dominic Othan and Gerard, the director of this, I think he did a fantastic job with the visual look. I think it, it harkens back to the original more than any of the other ones because I, the use of shadow, the use of like uh, smoke and fog, I think is really great. And the story, I think, is kind of cool. It sets up the Thorn, the Curse of Thorn storyline, which some people like, some people hate. I know people, a lot of people don't like the Tina character. It gets into the um, some weird kind of metaphysical stuff with the, the psychic connection between the two, but... Uh, Halloween 4 is the first one I ever saw, and it was probably years later before I saw Halloween 5. I think it's cool that they came out a, a year apart and they continue the same story. Danielle Harris, of course, is, is fantastic in it. Ellie Cornell is great in it. Donald Pleasance, with one of his last roles where he's actually a huge factor. Um, this is one of the only ones I don't think I've ever projected or showed on 35mm or any in any form. As you see, this one has some sort of water or, or humidity damage from being in storage or from a basement when it flooded years ago. But it's got some great liner notes in there. Uh, I met most of the people from Halloween's 4 and 5. Uh, I actually really like Tina as far as the woman who played her, although I can't remember her name right now, sadly. Wendy Kaplan. I uh, met Wendy Kaplan, Tamara Glenn. I met Bo Starr, Ellie Corner, and Dylan Harris. I've met it multiple times. Uh, I don't believe I met Donald Gwithin and Gerard. I don't think he was... A, there at the Halloween convention I was at. But I think this movie gets a lot of crap. Uh, it's probably the last of the great Halloweens. Halloween 6 is questionable. I like the, the I like the theatrical cut because I like Paul Rudd. I like Marianne Hagen. But I also like the producer's cut, which is a much better film. Um, but I'm glad I own this. Uh, one day I'm going to... I used to actually used to own a copy of this on 35mm as well, but it too got sold a couple years ago. Only one that I still own now is Halloween 1 and 4. Uh, this has uh, order form for the original Halloween comics which came in, in stores October 11th, 2000. Uh, there's a standard edition, a glow-in-the-dark edition, and a chromium cover edition. I own all of those and I bought those directly off the shelf from a comic store here in Kansas City. And the chromium cover that looks like this, but obviously chromium, like it sells for like over $100 now, I think. And mine's in like pristine condition, has like a certificate of authenticity, all that kind of stuff. But I really dig this movie. Have you guys seen it in theater originally when it came out? Have you seen it subsequently since? 35mm, digital, Blu-ray, VHS. Let me know. Do you think it gets too much shit? Uh, do you think it's a pretty good movie? Uh, as always, love you guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Peace.